Tell one of them to get in the bed. Get in the bed, boys. Get in the bed, boys. Oh, I can't. Oh, shit. What the hell? I can't get out. These better be the fuzzy handcuff. Always. Alright. Um. <laughs> Prepare for surgery. I get to keep my Prepare dick. Prepare for surgery. That's all I'm saying. I get to keep my dick. Well, go put him in the surgery room. Go on. Prepare. Ow. Shit. Alright. Make sure to wash your hands now. What? No, you're doing it. Oh. I'm, I'm watching. Uh. You are a cuck. You gotta make sure you wash your- if you're gonna be in the surgery room, you have to wash your hands. Can I wash my hands first? Dude, thank you so much for the follow. You just come in here, wash your hands, there's enough room for all of us. It's a trough. I mean, it's like the same as, uh, where you piss at in a baseball stadium. Taking off your clothes? You can't- I can't. Alright, sir, we're gonna go ahead and hook you up to the anesthetic now. Count backwards from ten. Get the back on the bed. I'm trying to take clothes off. Get off the bed. Get out. You, get I don't out. even know what's going on anymore. Get out. Put him back on the bed so we can put him under. That's oh, that's God. not right. Oh, that's God. that's not right. Going on here? I think, sir. I'm We're trying to give that this that man breast huge. implants, but he's not being cooperative. I just want to be pretty again. <laughs> just don't pick up anything out the room, please. Oh, I'm not. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Okay, thanks, dude. Maybe we should just let him wear the jumpsuit while we do the surgery. Hell yeah. Alright, here, pick up your stuff. You need to take off your, uh, clothes. Sir? He needs the clothes you, to put his stuff in. You need to watch in. through the waiting room here. Alright, <laughs> alright. Uh, right. Back on the bed. Watch. Back on the bed. Okay. okay. Alright. Close the door. Yep, lock the door now. We gotta keep this a, uh, a clean environment. We don't want any extra germs in here. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the anesthetic in him. I'm gonna have to close I count backwards from 10, please. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Wait, why is there a fireman operating on him? 2. He's a train okay. surgeon. Alright, he's out. Scalpel. And then I need a we swab of. A I need a, a scalpel and a swab of iodine. Scalpel and... Do we have iodine? There you go. Alright, yep, that's not iodine. That's peroxide. Peroxide will work, it's fine. We can, we can make peroxide work. Alright, so now, what we're gonna do, gentlemen, is we're gonna cut open... We're gonna do an anchor scar. We're gonna go around the nipple, down, and then under the peck. Oh, those look horrible. So, here we go. We're gonna start our first incision now. Go around the nipple, down, and we're gonna open this up. This does not look good. Alright, now we're gonna go around the other nipple, down, and then under. Alright, so basically, so basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take his... are gonna look like a Mexican <laughs> We're gonna take his pepperoni nipples, and we're gonna put them in a tray. So, uh, Nurse, uh, can you put his pepperoni nipples in a tray? Do I have to touch them? Here, here. Uh, just use, use tongs. Tray? Just use tongs. Use tray? <laughs> you, you put them in just, the tray. Alright, alright, I'm gonna flick them in there, okay? The Hold on, I'm gonna flick them in, ready? Don't, don't uh, flick them at me. All right, all right. Just, just catch him. There's one. Okay. Okay. And two. All right. Uh, okay. Other nurse, we need some saline bags, please. No, not taking part in this. Uh, uh, <laughs> we need some saline bags, please. It doesn't matter if they're the same size. Just, just I get him, him. whatever you want. <laughs> all right. So we have one A bag and oh, one okay. D bag. Which one should go where? Are you a right, right boob you or you a left boob? Oh. The left boob. All right, so we're definitely gonna put saline in in his chest, not the shit that you're supposed to use. We're gonna use like a saline bag, like you'd hook up to an IV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make the right boob bigger because I like right boobs. So uh, I'm gonna need some help stretching the skin though. So if you could just kind of pull at that hole where the nipple used to be, just kind of stretch it open. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty good. All right, so we're gonna shove the bag in now, 
And then I need you to apply pressure to the hole so we can stitch it up. <laughs> do we do we have any stitching? I think you were supposed to use like cat intestines or something. <laughs> Alright, my nurse is broke. Uh you know what? You know what? I got some thread in my pocket that I use to stitch up a hole in my outfit. I'm just gonna use that. So here we go. We're stitching this back. We're stitching this shut, stitching this shut. Alright. Now we're gonna put the smaller boob on the left side. So this is only an A bag. Uh, we're gonna need someone to make a custom sized bra though. So if someone can go to Silver Lake and get an half an A cup and half a D cup, that'd be great. Calling someone qualified. Alright, so we're gonna shove this bag in here. Because it's an A cup, it's gonna slip in real easy. And it's in. Okay, now we're gonna squeeze this one shut. It's not gonna take it's not gonna take much force. It's only an A cup. Alright, now we're stitching her up. Alright, now both breasts are now in place and stitched shut. Is it okay if I eat in here? Uh yeah, totally why are you how'd he get in here? Who is the nipples? <laughs> I got a meatloaf. They're over pizza. in the cupboard. Ah shit, I forgot to put his nipples back on. Here, hold on, I got him, I got him, don't worry. You, no, I, I've already stitched him shut, he's done. Uh, Alright, all right, so now, you know what, you know what, just, you know what, throw the nipples away. Oh shit, no. Sure, why not? Thank you. Alright, so you know what, every time you put something together, anytime, whether it's like Ikea furniture, there's always extra parts. The nipples were the extra parts. So we're just going to go ahead, we're going to put those in the drawer. That's the junk drawer from now on. <laughs> if anything ever happens to the point where we have to replace somebody's nipples, gonna we're going to have nipples. The operation already, right? Okay, what are you going to uh, do with down this side? This uh, side. Uh, well, we made one tit this. bigger, so I think maybe we should do a uh, testicle enlargement. <laughs> but but only one testicle. Oh, could you uh, pick up the cat intestines too, by the way? Alright, so we're gonna put two bags of ice on his uh, chest because we want to keep the swelling down. Uh, so, right. we found some, uh, we found that, else. that should be okay. What we're gonna do now Four. is we want to make sure that one testicle hangs lower than the other one. That's anatomically correct. However, both of his testicles are really, really tiny. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the ball bearings from the ambulance tires and we're just gonna remove one of his testicles and we're gonna put the ball bearing in there. Let me out. Now that should make one of the testicles droop a little bit lower. While well, I'm zooming in on his crotch, by the way. And, and that should work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need someone to hold his bag up while I cut oh, it. Who wants to hold his bag? What? Someone's gotta hold his sack. Come on, guys. I ain't touching that sack. Someone go wash your hands and hold his no. ball sack up. No. I'm, I'm further away. You're closer. You want me to hold the sack and uh, cut Dr. it? Dr. Fredrickson, we need you at the hospital. We need you to hold someone's sack. <laughs> How big is the sack? Not very big. <laughs> it's not very big. <laughs> it's if it's just air, big. count me out. Alright, you know what? It's fine. I can do it. It's not a very big sack to begin with, so... It's just... like a 70s bush down here, dude. Turn the air conditioning up so the skin gets tighter. We can make this sucker almost go inside of him. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not holding our mom's sack. Alright, so I'm gonna start the incision now. We're basically gonna... We're gonna cut down the middle of the sack to the point to where it already looks like there's a seam there anyway. So the scar is gonna blend in. I believe that's called a gooch or something. Yeah, whatever. whatever. It's the seam. We're gonna cut his seam, the sack seam. And uh, it's gonna look good, I promise you. So, alright, we're cutting the sack seam. We're gonna cut it right down the middle. We're gonna cut it to an inch from his asshole, because we don't want to cut his asshole. We just want to get it to the point where the sack will, will split nicely. Okay, now the sack's cut open. Who wants to cut the ball off? Who wants to cut the ball off? What? I vote Frederick. Yeah. Who, who wants to remove his testicle? <laughs> we only need one testicle because we're gonna take a ball bearing from the ambulance and put it in there on the other side. I vote Frederick. So. Isn't he? Oh my god. No, he's he's no, he's out. He, he has the anesthetic on. He's he's good to go. <laughs> so if you if you're not gonna waiver, pick. So we're not liable to be sued for malpractice. If you're not gonna pick, I'm just gonna pick his right nut because I'm pretty sure the left nut's supposed to hang lower. So, we're going to cut his right nut off, because we're going to make him a freak. And what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect it. Now, uh, anyone have scissors or 
Like a pocket knife uh, or something? I have a, I have a box cutter. A yeah, that's good. Spoon. That's good. I was about to say I had a rusty spoon. Alright, All right. Well, <laughs> box cutter works. Okay, here we go. We're gonna... And... Snip! Oh, shit, it bounced. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Get it! Shit, it's under the table. Oh, fuck. Alright, you know what? Doesn't matter. We have the ball bearing. Alright, so basically the only problem with the ball bearing is... It's not really connected to anything, so this thing's just gonna bounce around down there. You think that's gonna be a problem? Uh, no, if fine. he's running? I mean, running, yeah, that, that might be a problem. Like a marble in there or something? That should be good to go. Well, we wanted yeah, one of them to be noticeably bigger, because he wanted bigger nuts, so... Uh, just avoid uh, using the MRI, a, right, you know. Cool cue in there, then? I don't fucking Jesus know. Christ. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any of those. I, I took a, a ball bearing from the ambulance because we had plenty of that in the shop. Why don't we just get a rock from outside? Ed, Ed and Eddie? Uh, we, we could do a rock, I guess. Rub and sterilize Go get a really rock small head. rock. Alright, right right, go get a, a small, like, oh, the fuck size fuck of your oh, thumbnail yeah, rock. <laughs> Alright, we want to make sure he stays out for this, so go ahead and... We're going to increase the, uh, the anesthetic up. You're going all the way south of Oak Park. So... I would have done that. We'll be right back with that oh. rock. Alright, go get that rock. <laughs> Don't worry about keeping the environment clean, though. That doesn't matter. Like, it's okay. Let all the germs in. We only have an open body here. No big deal. Alright, we got the rock. We good We good yet? Not yet? So, yeah, I more germs. More rocks. germs. There is a giant ass boulder out here, though. <laughs> I wish they wouldn't do that over the radio. Uh... Lost everybody. <laughs> let, me, let me look in the cabinet here. Let me see if something's in the cabinet. We could always ask Mike Mayo for one of his left nuts. <laughs> no, we don't want a real one. We want a fake one. I will fucking do it right now. Alright, you, right, you know what? You know what? It's fine. We couldn't find anything good enough, so we're just gonna keep the nut. He doesn't. He only gets one from now on. So realistically, we we probably shouldn't have done the surgery. We probably should have left him with both nuts, but we're way past the point of return. So we're just gonna stitch this up. So. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna call him right now. Oh, all right. Well, uh, anyone have a hammer? We're almost out of anesthesia, so we gotta keep him under. Someone hit him with a hammer, quick! Uh, Fucking hit him with a hammer, quick! <laughs> Alright, he's back out. Alright, good. Nerds show that. Alright. You just ask him if uh, he'd be willing to donate. That you're a poor, organ poor orphan child. Donor. Right now, we, we gotta make this quick. If we leave this body open any longer, it's gonna start getting infected. Need I should poke him? Uh, if, if it's a clean stick, uh, I think you'll be okay. Right or left nut? We need a right nut. But anything that's round would work. Like a ping pong ball, anything would work. Any, anything. A bouncy ball. A bouncy ball would be kind of cool. He could bounce his sack on the ground and it'd bounce back. I mean, only one side. The other side would probably hurt like hell. What if the bouncy ball hits the ground, comes back up, and hits him in the other nut? That's his uh, problem. Hospital to fill out the respective. Fuck, I misspelled respected. Paperwork that would <clears throat> be much. We, sh we should probably hurry this up because we have like five bodies on the map right now. Oh, we do? Oh. Alright, so you know what? Fuck it. He doesn't get two balls, he only gets one ball. We're gonna stitch him up. Except, we're not gonna stitch it straight, we're gonna stitch it in a thunderbolt. So, we're just gonna go side to side like this. Alright, uh, shit. Uh, let's see, one, two... I just, I just stitched his dick to his balls. Uh, Fredrickson, why don't you hit the one up near prison? Alright, well, um... Alright. The impound lot. Oh my god, there's bodies everywhere. Alright, you know what? You know what? Let him, let him respond. Uh, it's okay. Let, 
You know what? The surgery's done. Let's go ahead and wake him up now. Yeah, sir, can you hear me? Up with, uh, oh. One oh. Can, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, my chest hurts. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure a lot hurts right now. Yeah, a lot hurts. Alright, you know what, sir? It's gonna be a while before you're ready to get up and get back to work, so why don't you just sit here and rest a little while. Okay. Let your, your nut, one nut wonder what? relax. What? And uh, your new your new chesticles, they look great by the way. Well, one oh, of them looks great, well, the other one looks kind of flat. Where are my nipples? So uh, th we don't talk what about your nipples. What the? It, my fucking nipples are gone. Am I? Boob? No, I, I, you're I a guy. One fucking preteen. Um, you're a guy. Nipples are extra. There's a situation outside the ambulance. Oh, thing scrap me. Uh, we're gonna need it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, All six right. people. Well, I have uh, I have more work to do, sir, so you just relax here. So, uh, yeah, I gotta go before I get arrested. There's like six or seven down. Seven four. All right, maybe it's time to actually do my job. <laughs> uh, this is the road that I often... How you do, Glenn? We had a pretty successful surgery today. Says who? Did you make him a woman? Half a woman. Uh, half and half. Let's just say I'm half the man I used to be, and I do have to squat to pee. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I'm not sure uh, who was involved, idea? but uh, let's not have any more pizza parties during the surgery. I'm not gonna take much force. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's Is it okay if I eat in here. Uh. Yeah, totally why are we trying to get in here? I thought the crust would help with uh, that erectile dysfunction. Well, you could have used at least used the pepperonis to give me nipples. Uh. You know, nipples are an extra part for the male body. Well, I'm not feeling very male. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit, that's funny. <laughs> Uh shit. <laughs> so the surgery was a success, I think. Cool. Well, I mean, we did, success. <laughs> we did work on his face, but I mean, hey. He is back to work, so he must be feeling better. Can you ever get that second nut in, or was it just the one? No, just the one. We didn't have enough time for the uh, second one. Got you, got you. Really Plus, we left him buckled on the bed somehow <laughs> as we uh, all rushed out at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Skip is, uh, he's like halfway between male and female. Kind of like halfway between being full furry and half thing. shaved. <laughs> so... He's gonna work on his face next. I think gonna be able to get him. I'm not exactly sure what we should call Skip, other than a successful surgery vi victim. Uh, patient. Patient. <laughs> patient. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is a patient. He was a tribute for some. I don't know, did you... I thought Tribute's volunteer. <laughs> no, no, no. Not oh, that right. was just that one movie. Yep. Ha, 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 ha. volunteer Tribute. Okay. I'm pretty sure Skip said that, though. I'm pretty sure he did. Oh, wait, really? I don't remember that, but... I mean... Uh, <laughs> you were the surgeon, so we'll go with it. You know, like, besides the fact we had to hit him with a hammer twice to keep him asleep, it's pretty much, it's pretty much legitimate surgery. We're, we're really Wait, hold on, cheap. hold on. We're in a hospital. Around here. Yeah, <laughs> we're in a hospital with probably an entire supply of anesthesia to get, to knock him out. And you use uh, a hammer. We, we hosted it all. We, we did, we did huff most of it. Ten, four. Most of it, yeah. There was a little bit to start the surgery, but it started wearing off as the tank emptied. And we had to think fast, and luckily one of us had a hammer that's normally used for breaking bones. And it worked. Uh, we broke his consciousness if that fucking works. <laughs> Probably broke his soul, too. Probably, who knows. Well, I mean, his soul's forever gonna be tarnished with only one ball anyways. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. lopsided boobs. I, oh, I God, at yeah. least wanted to give him a bigger second ball, but there just, there wasn't enough time. Wasn't enough time. <laughs> I wanted to put a ball Where's bearing in the sack. Oh. If I that's that's pretty big.